Uh, here's a couple common ones with uh, web browsers. Sometimes uh, the backspace key can act as a back. Um, the key thing there is to make sure that uh, you don't have any text fields selected. So if I'm up here in my search field and I hit backspace, nothing happens. But if I'm here on nothing, hit back space and it goes back to the previous page. Uh, you have F11 to maximize the window to go full screen. Uh, so you end up with no extra buttons at the bottom or at the top for the toolbars. Uh, F11 goes in and out of that. Uh, if you press F5, you can actually refresh a page, which uh, hopefully this will change with the ads, but you kind of see it reloaded a little bit there, because apparently BlackBerry loves advertising on a page where I basically tell them that they suck. <laughs> um, pressing Alt and then the left arrow goes back alt and right arrow goes forward uh, that's a browser thing it also works in uh, Windows Explorer a little bit so not just the web browser but actual Windows Explorer uh, for browsing your file if you want to go through and uh, send a file uh, to the great beyond you don't want to put into your recycle bin you just basically click on it hold down shift and press delete and you'll be asked if you want to permanently delete the file uh, you say yes and it goes right on past the uh, recycle bin doesn't even go into it compared to if you just click on a file and hit delete uh, you get the message do you want to send it to the recycle bin This one's probably the, hopefully, the most commonly known one, but uh, I see a lot of people doing this a lot. If you go through and you're in a text field, either on a website or a um, login screen, something of that sort, and you have like just a single button for an option, uh, you don't have to physically click the button. You can usually just press enter, and it'll actually go through and just submit that field or press the default action uh, already assigned to it when you go through and have a dialog box of some type or a prompt um, the enter key also works on that so if you already have a file name on here that you want you can just press enter and it'll go ahead and save that or if you somehow got this uh, dialog accidentally and don't want any more, uh, you can actually press escape on your keyboard and it cancels it. Same thing as hitting the cancel button. Uh, going along data entry stuff here, if you are um, using tab and shift tab to go through navigate between fields, you can actually cause a button to activate as you can see I kinda got search with a little dotted line around it because I pressed tab to get into it if I press my space bar uh, it will actually go through and activate uh, that button uh, that's one of the reasons I go through and um, tell people when you go and wake up your computer don't uh, press the space key or enter key um, the best thing to do if you want to try and wake up your computer use your arrow keys because they don't actually submit anything because um, pressing space or enter can actually cause uh, your computer to accept the dialog box or activate a button which if you're trying to wake up your computer and your screen isn't on all the way yet you could inadvertently um, say yes to something that you really don't want to say yes to such as installing a virus <laughs> uh, some more navigation here for you uh, if you have multiple tabs in either a dialog box or uh, your web browser you can use um, control tab 
and it will go through and switch between them or if you want to do it in reverse you can hold down control shift tab and you go through the tabs in a uh, backwards order uh, hard to see with just two tabs here so add another uh, it's control shift tab and control tab as you can see goes through them in the forwards manner another file operation for you is if you hold down control and click on files you can actually go through and select individual files without having to uh, select ones that you don't want uh, such as using control A will select everything in the files uh, if you do shift and then click uh, you basically click on one file then you do a shift and then click you select everything from that first file to the end of it as you see also got the ones over here and that's because it goes right to left uh, all the way sorry it goes left to right <laughs> if I can get my left and right figured out uh, it goes uh, left to right in selecting the files until it ends up at the destination file uh, that's great if you want to select everything from let's say the recycle bin to this file here it's great for that um, but if you want to get the individual files uh, without all these extra special ones you'd have to use control a great thing you can do is let's say uh, click on that recycle bin and then shift click here and I want basically all these files except for three of them I can hold down control now after I've selected these and unselect the ones that I don't want one more shortcut I can't believe I forgot to mention but uh, if you go through and uh, press alt on your keyboard if you have uh, Windows XP or later um, you'll notice that some of your menus will kinda uh, either show up if you don't have them <laughs> um, but uh, you'll see there's a little underline under some uh, menu options and some buttons uh, what this is is it's basically showing you a shortcut key you can press so if I uh, press F after doing that I can actually bring up my file menu and if I was to hit O here, it would actually do open, or I could press S for save. Uh, you also have the uh, other keyboard shortcuts that are in programs that are labeled within the menus themselves. Um, apparently, a lot of things are going away from menu-based systems. Um, take, for example, WordPad here, having the background. Um, you don't really have much as far as menus on that and doesn't tell you um, all these really nice uh, keyboard shortcuts you have for that but you know control O control P uh, for printing control O for open control S for saving but uh, those are all program specific but uh, as I was saying about the alt key you can press that and then any of the underlying characters uh, to bring up the menu or you can actually just hold down alt and then press that button to instantly uh, bring it up uh, if you're using the older Windows 98 ME uh, you kinda gotta do the uh, hold and press because uh, it doesn't always take the press it and then hit the button thing <laughs>